I just want to say happy birthday to you. Your Thank birthday you, was yesterday. Yesterday, man. Happy birthday. Yeah. Thank you, brother. You're the best. Come Thank on, you. man. Thank you. Best of the best of the best. Good luck in many, many, many more years. Thank you. Did Thank you have you. fun? Yes. You know, I, I chilled. Last year was 50, so it's 51. Last year we did a big one. Blow it out. This year, just really, I know, baby. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. Wow, so but, like... but like last year with a big blowout, so this year quiet was nice. Like a small dinner, play some golf. I always celebrated with a friend of mine, Peter Hockfelder, and he turned 60 and I was 50, so last year we did a 110th birthday. Yeah, yeah. So this That's year, we, yeah, so we just keep on 112th this year, whatever, but we uh, just chilled. It was nice. Are you, are you uh, having a good uh, season here because the Giants are doing... Well, I know they lost, but... Oh, they lost, but they've won more games than I thought they were going to win. So it's a great year. <laughs> It's a, hey, everyone's kind of happy in New York. Yeah, every, even the, the Jets. The Giants are winning. The Jets are winning. Even when they lose, people are still wearing gear. People are wearing stuff. I haven't seen a Giants hat or shirt or jacket in ten years. Yeah, yo, everyone's I'm psyched. The ones asked me for a ticket in ten years. <laughs> And now my own kids like, can I get tickets to the game? I'm like, yeah, you didn't want to, you didn't care. I even played. I, I was one of the greatest Giants to play the game ever. Yeah. But it's good to see the excitement back. I think you know, football's so unpredictable. That's what I love about it. Yeah. So unpredictable. But you know better than anyone, New York is a pretty tough place to play. I mean, oh yeah. When you win, you're the top of the world. When yeah. you lose, people you're, hate. You're under the shoe. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, do, do, you, do you ever get that when you were playing here? Like, oh, yeah, man. Fans here are, are brutal. Yeah. They tell you how they feel. They don't, oh, it'll be next time. You know, no, 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 no. You suck yesterday. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you suck. You suck. And to the point where you, you fra you're afraid to go out to eat. Really? Oh, I, when we lost, I didn't want to go out to eat. I didn't even want to go to the drive thru It'd be like, here, take your burger, you <laughs> punk. <laughs> see, see, yeah. See if you catch yeah. this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'll, I'll cook at home. Yeah. Uh, you're, you're known as one of the greatest defensive players of all time, but you also... Sure. Thank you. Of all time. Of all time. I, it's, it's, it's hard to even but, hear, but... But you also scored three touchdowns throughout yeah. your career. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, here, we have one of them. Wow. Here's Michael Strand's game-winning touchdown. This was about 40 pounds ago, probably. No. <laughs> uh, here's your winning touchdown against the Philadelphia Eagles oh. in 1999. Take a look oh. at that. From the 45-yard line, a third down play for the Eagles. Peterson gets time, but the pass is blocked. Yo, go, Michael Strahan! Yo! Stop it! He's a guest! He is a guest on the show. Hey, <laughs> he is a guest on our program. Okay, I will be honest with you. It's it's great to score a touchdown. Yeah, I mean it's great. But when you do it against the Eagles in overtime in Philly, and I can look y'all in the face when it's going, <laughs> it's the best ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what I like, I like is, you know, everyone, if you score a touchdown, everyone's got to move. They got a different thing. If you spike it or you could do a dance or do something, you just kind of went like, oh, there was, <laughs> no, there was a reason. Because the Friday before that Sunday game, I went to see Ricky Martin. Me and some of my, me and my teammates, we went to see Ricky Martin at the Garden. Yeah. And Ricky would come out, and before he even did anything, he would just go like this. And the crowd was like, wow! <laughs> So I said, I'm, if I score a touchdown, I'm going to hit him with the Ricky Martin. <laughs> and so I scored that. I never thought I was going to score a touchdown. It happened then two days later, yeah. and I hit him with the Ricky Martin. Yeah, you got <laughs> and, That's hey, a great story. Well, the thing about Philly, they were hitting me with, like, stuff they spit in the cups and they drop. <laughs> yeah. So they hit me back. Yeah, they got you back, yeah. Uh, can we talk about this uh, new podcast you're doing here? Oh, yeah. American Football, How the Gridiron Was Forged. Uh, Kate Mara, uh, 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 talk about this. This is, the, this is how football started, the whole history? Yeah, it's the history of football. Like, I love football, and I thought I knew about the history of the game, but this is the real history of the game, how it started. You know, football was used to be, like, white collar, and then the blue collar team wanted to play, and they said, nope, you can't play. So they kind of developed their own leagues, and it's just a history of all that. And also, we have modern-day broadcasters from Joe Buck to Kurt Menefee. They are calling some of the older games, like narrating some of the older games, yeah. and which is really cool. And Kate Mara, what a lot of people may not know, 
is a dear friend. I've known her since she was a kid who now has kids and was pregnant and just had a kid last week in the booth doing this. This year, yeah. Is she is a part of two dynasties. The, the, the Pittsburgh Steelers and the New York Giants. Those are her parents. That's right. So she is a part of two dynasties and a perfect partner to narrate this for us, and she knocks it out of the water. Uh, uh, talk about fun projects to work on. You told me about this <laughs> last time. You were like, we can't mention it yet. Yeah, I couldn't mention it. Yeah, because this is top secret stuff. Your own skincare line. See, that's why I don't look 51. <laughs> <laughs> that's the secret. That's the secret. You moisturize. I moisturize, man. You know, as, as, as men be, doing this job, yeah. you do have to wear a little makeup here and there. Of course. I just consider mine to be anti-shine, not really makeup. But, but you <laughs> oh know, and, and I think we just go through the grit and the grime of the day, and we run around, and for men, it seems inconvenient to take care of your skin. But to me, like, wearing a nice outfit, it's confidence. Taking care of your skin is confidence. So we developed this system, and it's very easy to do. It's a face wash and a moisturizer. Then it's a beard oil and, and, and a, a shaving gel. What do you do with beard, beard oil? Beard oil, you, yeah, yeah. You, uh, hey, I'm by the way, this is a great beard. Y'all like his beard? <laughs> I'm in the beard game. I just, I haven't seen you since. Thank you. Have you, you, do you use beard oil? 65 years old, by the way. <laughs> but do you use beard oil? No, I don't have no idea what beard oil is at all. Oh, very coarse. Well, your beard is pretty coarse. Yeah, it's rough, right? Yeah, like a horse. <laughs> 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 Does it feel like a horse? You, but you seriously, you should you should use beard oil. What what would I do? How would All I right, use you just, beard? You know, oil? you got a little thing here. You just put a little few drops right there. Yeah, yeah. Come here. You know, I'm gonna give you star treatment. <laughs> wow. Whoa. Wow. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> Look at this. Michael Sunningham, Daily Defense Beard Oil. That's what I'm talking about. That's simple. I feel good. <laughs> no, I don't even. I don't even need it. You don't. Because um, what I, we got some oils in there. You can just rub it into your cuticle, actually. See, that's what I'm talking about. Multi, he knows multi, what he's talking multi, about. Multitasking. Multitasking. Michael Strahan, everybody. Michael Strahan, Daily Defense is available now. Amazon and Michael Strahan Skin.com. Michael and I are doing something fun after the break. Stick around. Hey, hey.